all back again to Chiwes Veggie Kitchen. New year, new aspirations, new eating habits. Wow, I wish you all a wonderful, happy new year and a fruitful days ahead. So hey, if you haven't tried any of my recipes yet, kindly give a try and you will never regret. <laughs> This year, we are starting with a colorful recipe to brighten our days ahead, okay? So, I will be teaching you all how to prepare vegan, vegetarian, Ghanaian jollof. I know my Nigerian friends will be like, hey, Ghana jollof, but I bet you, you can't resist the taste of a Ghanaian jollof recipe. Ha! Let's get started, oh yeah? All these are my ingredients I'll be using. Vegan mice meat, five cups of jasmine rice, tofu, chicken lime, red and white onions, and nutmeg. And my meat. Fry it until it's brown. It's now time for me to add my diced red onions and then my celery. You know, I don't go away with it. Fry for two minutes. The two minutes is over. Wow. I'll now add my tomato paste to it. And then you stir it. Okay. I 
I will now cover it for it to cook. So my five minutes is over. Just look at it. I will now remove the vegan chicken like and then fry it. Start by putting in oil and then I will allow it to heat. So I come back to check. Our sauce is doing so well. I will then add my spices. Oh, another thing where make it tasty is your nut, and I will be adding mine to it. And then of course I stir it. The oil is now heated, so I put in the vegan chicken in it for it to fry. Let's come to what sauce. This is my ketchup. I then add my bay leaves to it. So I have baked this for 40 minutes, okay? And it's now for me to take everything out. See the juice from it. it aside for it to cool down because I'll be blending it. I'll be using two things to coat my top. First of all, brown sugar. I will add brown sugar to the rest of my vegan tomato ketchup. I will use two teaspoons of brown sugar and then I mix it. So I'll pick the tofu one by one and coat it with the mixture that I have made. So I now take out my vegan chicken like fillets just look at it. Wow. Now time for me to blend my baked vegetables. I will then add the blended vegetables to my sauce. You see how the mixture has change wow wow just look at it i then add my kidney beans let's come and have a look at our sauce wow hmm I will then take out my bay leaves and then some of my sauce because I wouldn't be using all for my jollof. My jasmine rice is now washed so I pour them in my sauce. You then stir it. You cover it with a paper towel and allow it to cook on a low heat. We don't want to burn our jollof rice. I then put in the tofu in my hot oil. Can you all see that? Delicious, <laughs> yummy it is looking. And so I allowed it on a low heat for 35 minutes. It's now time for me to have a stir and then add my other ingredients. Jollof for the you have to put it on a low heat always and then give it 
time to cook. I'll start by adding the vegan chicken like and lastly I add all these vegetables I then cover it for additional five minutes and then our jollof rice will be done. Finally, let's all have a look at our vegan vegetarian Ghanaian jollof rice. Wow. You know, so the main reason why I added the vegetables to my jollof rice late is that I needed that crunchy taste, okay? So I added the vegetables to my You can imagine the good smell in my kitchen. You can't resist it. <laughs> So as you all can see, I have served myself this delicious recipe I made. On my plate, I have fried um, red plantain together with vegan vegetarian jollof rice and of course baked beans and cocoa and baby shetto. See, one thing I want you all to know is that we don't know what's ahead of us this year, but we can plan for our health. So kindly. Stay healthy for yourself, for your family, and for everyone. And please, if you really enjoy this video, kindly give a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed. Take care of yourselves. Eat good, eat healthy, and I love you. Bon appetit. <laughs>